Good morning, it is almost 5 a.m. and we're gonna to try today a morning shift and not just a normal morning shift, a very early morning shift to test my market out. Ah, uh, bro, I'm not used to being up this early at all. Oh, I need to wake up. There's no healthier way to start your day than a Rockstar energy drink, not a sponsor. Oh God, that's good. Who needs coffee when you can have caffeine, taurine, guarana, and whatever the heck ginseng is, plus half a cup of sugar. An energy drink company would actually be a sick video sponsor. That'd be so cool, man. Do you like to drive fast and deliver food? Well, take it to the mass. <laughs> Bro, I haven't been up this early to work since I was in my early 20s, either working construction or in food prep at a retirement village. I know, very blessed, but uh, even still, I did do them hours. And yes, I am very grateful that I don't have to do them hours anymore. So these days, I'm practically a night goblin. I do my nine to five, and then I'm usually up till what, 11 o'clock at night editing these YouTube videos for you guys. And then I watch like an hour or two of Netflix as I silently drift away into the embrace of the eternal slumber. So what am I doing in this video? I'm doing an early morning shift to test my market. I'm doing a five o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock in the morning, and then I go start my nine to five job after. After that but I just want to test my market am I missing out on really good performing hours because so normally I just do dinner shifts I know dinner shifts are gonna make me money uh, so I focus on them but what if the early morning shifts make me money so here in today's video I'm gonna test it in my zone five o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock in the morning is there money to be made? So five o'clock, I have Uber Eats only. Then at six o'clock, I can turn on DoorDash and I'm just gonna take in whatever offers I can get as long as they make sense though. Pretty much have a free range on what I accept until 7.30. And at 7.30, I just gotta be smart to not take something super far away. I just wanna do something close and local because at eight o'clock, I kind of wanna be on the way back close to home so I can start off the nine to five job. 5.15, nothing. I'm not surprised though. 5.30, nothing on Uber still. 5.35, still got no orders on Uber. But you know what, it's not even six in the morning. Who the heck is ordering? Six o'clock, nothing on Uber Eats yet, but DoorDash is now available. So I'm logging into DoorDash in my zone. So I'll have Uber Eats and DoorDash running at the same time. Okay, we just got our first offer in. First offer is $28 going 18 kilometers, um, 6.02 in the morning from Uber Eats. A bit of a longer trip and it's going out to an area that I don't really want to work in because there's no restaurants there. But you know what? This early, I don't know what to expect. So I'm going to take a $28 offer. $28 is enough to cover me for my first hour. That's profit in my first hour. So just did the Uber Eats drop off and the customer did not come to meet at the door. I had to start the five minute timer got down to two minutes and it was, it was going through that countdown. I was just thinking in my head, I was like, it's like, oh man, I'm gonna be late for this, this DoorDash one. But then I checked the DoorDash one, I've got till 7.32 to complete the order, which is which is like an hour still. Um, so yeah, completely fine on the time frame there. Uh, I'm just gonna rush a little bit to get to the store. It's 7.11, so it's not gonna be hot food or anything like that. So yeah, it's not like I picked up the customer's food from the 7-Eleven, had it sitting in the car. I'm still en route. And this one will take me across from, so I've gone Sydney Towns to Palmwoods, then Palmwoods to Wombai, Wombai across to Nambour, uh, which I complained about in my night shift video. Uh, but you know what, it's daytime. I feel completely safe in Nambour. No dramas in the day in Nambour. Anywho, let's, uh, let's get this uh, next pickup. Yep, thank you. Just got a six dollars from McDonald's. Nah, you can do better than that. DoorDash just got a immediately after declining 553 from McDonald's. Nah, bro, you can do better than that. Not for taking that. No way. Nah. Give me something good. 723, you know what, it's better than the last two. I'm gonna take it, why not? $6.50 
So just a little bit past seven o'clock, we've made over $50. So that's all I kind of expected to make, $50 across the three hours that I was driving for. We can rule out five to six, that was a no-go hour. Uh, so now on past seven, I'm gonna start trying to make my way back towards where I live. Uh, so I, I kind of want to be around my home area by eight-ish. So, you know, within 10 minutes of eight either way. That way I've got time to get ready for my full-time job to go uh, do that for eight hours. So yeah, hopefully we can pick up an order heading back in that direction. Anything going the opposite direction or way out, I'm gonna knock back, uh, unless it's really good. But yeah, kind of want to try get back towards home. This is Nambour in all of its glory. Look at that beautiful city. There it is, the most famous thing about this town. It's got a KFC. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> okay guys, if you're from the Sunshine Coast and you know Nambour, is KFC the most famous thing in this town? Let me know down below in the comments. Mm -hmm. So guys, I got absolutely smashed by a batch mm -hmm. of officers that just came through. It's mm -hmm. just like, boom, 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 mm -hmm. my phone going off. And I declined them all, not because they were bad officers, there's actually some good offers in there. Uh, it's just, it's not going in the direction that I'm heading right now. I want to head back towards home where I live uh, not going the opposite direction. And they were all heading the opposite direction or really far away from where I live. So guys, just got this banger Uber Eats order. It is $29 for 29 kilometers. Now you might think, oh, it's a dollar a kilometer. Most of this, well, pretty much all of it, is highway and arterials. Now, it does drop off a little bit far away from where I live, but it, the estimate said 38 minutes to get there. I can get this whole thing done in probably 25 minutes tops. Uh, so $29 for 25 minutes, guys, that's pretty good. And then it's only gonna take me like five or so, maybe 10 minutes to get home. So uh, I'll finish up the dash after that, or well, not dash, Uber Eats delivery after that. I've turned DoorDash off because it's my last delivery. Uh, I don't need to get a second offer from them or anything like that. This will be my last one. Okay, just got home, it is 10 past eight, so I'm on my clock, I'm on my time schedule, this is completely fine for me. Now, I worked five o'clock to eight o'clock, well, just a few minutes past eight o'clock, and I earned, in total, uh, from DoorDash, $24.49, and from Uber Eats, I earned $57.17, for a grand total of $81.66 from five to eight. Now, let's be real here, five o'clock to six o'clock, a stupid hour to work, okay? There was nothing that came through on that hour. So let's look at it uh, at just from six to eight, which is more reasonable hours. So across two hours of actually driving, uh, made just over 40 bucks an hour. That's not bad at all. $40 an hour or just over $40 an hour, good. So what was the point of this video? Now there's two things I wanna to touch base on, two takeaways from this video for you guys and gals. So the first takeaway point is if you work stupid hours, you are not entitled or guaranteed to make money or earn good money. So five o'clock to six o'clock, stupid hour to work. It's a dumb time to work. Most restaurants don't have their menus turned on that hour and customers aren't ordering that early. Okay, so lesson learned, uh, you work stupid hours, you don't earn anything, okay? Get it, okay? And second takeaway from this is to test your market. Okay, maybe you just work certain hours all the time. You think, yeah, this is this is good. Uh, maybe you work other hours and you're like, oh, this is bad. I'm not earning much money. Maybe it's a stupid hour, okay? So try different hours. Find out the hours that work in your market. I tried out a morning run on a weekday. So uh, six o'clock to eight o'clock on a Friday morning. And I made just over 40 bucks an hour. Uh, before six o'clock, a duck egg, zero. So learning your market, learning when to work, uh, trying different hours. That's all a part of adapting to the gig economy. You can't work stupid hours and just expect to make good money. You've got to try different hours. If something's not working, try something different. It Literally, the definition of insanity, okay? Just doing the same thing over and over and over again, uh, expecting a different result, okay? You get it? Okay, that's about it. I'm gonna stop this Mr. Mackey voice from South Park. God, I love that show. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you guys are making some money. Hope you guys are driving safe out there. Keep hustling, keep grinding, keep inch by inch getting ahead, and I'll catch you in the next one.
Peace out. Do you know what four times 20 is? You mean four and 20? Because that's a pie, mate. No, four times 20 is 80. And 80% 80 of people who watch this channel haven't subscribed to Chriso yet. Well, the subscribe button is just down there. So I'm going to press it. Then I'm going to get myself a four and 20 pie. And then I'm going to watch a couple of their videos over there. Oh, can I have a pie too, mate? Well, you think pies grow on trees? No. Get your own and I'll see you in the next one. Here are your legends.